What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is going to be probably one of the shorter videos I do. Uh, but this is going to be explaining the differences between primary memory and secondary memory. So to keep you guys occupied, I'm going to have some footage and some random pictures here and there going across the screen while I talk for these next two minutes. Uh, but let's jump right into it. Alright, so primary memory is basically what you're going to think of as memory. It's what's considered memory, which is RAM. Which this is what your CPU communicates with directly. So if you think of the CPU as the worker, the RAM is like the desk they're working on. So it changes a lot. Considering this is why it's called random access memory, anything in the RAM doesn't stay. It's not permanent. So the second you shut down your computer, the RAM gets wiped. Kind of like when you leave for work, you clean your desk, bam. If that's a good analogy for you guys to understand, it's wiped. So whatever the CPU needs at the time, it moves over to the RAM and, you, and works on it there. So the RAM is like the workspace of the computer and it's constantly changing. Now, secondary memory is your hard drive space, your storage, your flash drive, anything else that isn't temporary. So basically anything that's not RAM, because RAM is pretty much the only thing that's memory-wise that's temporary. Everything else, if you, you know, have a picture, video, anything you save, you're saving it to your secondary memory storage, which is going to be like a hard drive. In that case, it's a lot slower. Um, you don't really notice it, and we don't really notice it these days, but compared to a computer, it is a lot slower to work from. Um, and then if it needs to access it, the computer will actually copy whatever information it needs from a, a secondary memory source, like a hard drive, into the RAM to work on. So basically that's how they work together. Anything that's long-term goes into storage. You can kind of think of that as like the filing cabinet of the computer. So like if you're working at a desk, the CPU is working, it pulls out whatever it needs from the filing cabinet, lays it on the desk, which is the RAM in this case, and then works from it. And then when it's done, pulls out the filing cabinet, puts it back in there, which is like your storage unit, which is your hard drive, stores it in there and leaves it till it needs it again. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little explanation. I know this is a short video, but there really is not a lot to talk about on this subject. But if you have any questions as always, leave a comment below. I'd love to talk about it with you all. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.